Hello friends, welcome to KSR Data Vision. In this video, we'll explore some other Python coding questions. So, let us focus on Pandas data manipulation questions in this video. The difficulty level of this particular question is easy. And the example that we took is from Iris dataset. This is sample records, guys. It has sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and species. So, the first question is, how many different species are there? So we have a column called a species and the question is how many different species are there? The count of different species. And second question is how many times each species is repeated in the given data frame? How many times each is repeated? For example, versicolor 30, virginica 50, etc. And third question is how many rows are there whose sepal length is greater than its mean? Okay, so find out, uh, like you know, all the rows, uh, first find out the mean of sepal length and then find out how many rows are there whose, uh, like, you know, value, how many rows are there whose sepal length is greater than its mean value. So just get the count of rows. And the fourth question is extract all rows. In third question, if it is the count of rows, in fourth question, it is extract all rows whose petal width is greater than 1.5 and petal length is greater than 5. Fifth question is which species has the highest sepal length? So extract only species name, okay? And lastly, extract the mean, median of all the four columns for all the species individually. This is the last question. So pass the video now, guys. Try it on your own, and then you can come back and look at our solution. Pass the video now. So okay, friends. We look at solution now using Panda. Okay, the data set is Iris data set. And I have loaded that particular data set from Pi data set package. We have a package called as Pi data set. And we have a lot of uh, different, different data sets. Then you can uh, choose one of the data set and load it. And uh, the way we load it, Iris data set is using this data of Iris. And I'm saving the results to DF. DF is the data frame that I've created. So now the first question is, how many different species are there? So for that, the simplest way is, I'll say DF of species and then n unique, n unique. This gives me the number of different species in this particular data stream, okay? The second question is, how many times each species is repeated in the given data frame? How many times each species is repeated? So for that, I can say species, and then the easiest way to do is using value counts, using value counts, okay? So this gives us the results. Yeah. Sorry. OK. This gives us the results, like Setosa 50 times, Versicolor 50 times, Virginica 50 times. We can, we can also use other inbuilt packages, like uh, we have a, a counter from collections. That also gives us. So let me show you an example. OK. And then if I say counter of DF of a species, it should be species. Yeah, it gives the same answer. But in interviews, mostly using external libraries are not welcome. So try to do everything using pandas. But uh, again, like a lot of companies doesn't put any restriction. But if there are any restrictions, then uh, be sure to use value counts instead of counter. Okay. And then, then the next question is how many rows are there whose sepal length is greater than its mean? So first, we need to find out the mean value. So let me say sepal length dot mean. This gives the mean value. Okay, this gave me the mean value. And if I let me store this value in a new variable. So mean val equals to okay. Now I want to find out how many rows are there whose sepal length is greater than its mean. For that, I'll say sepal length greater than mean value. Okay. This will give me like false, true, false, false. So to get the number of rows, I'll say dot sum. This will give me the number of rows. The other way to do it is I will uh, uh, like, you know, what are the values I got? I'll subset using DF and then I'll take shape of it. So that is also accepted. So now extract all rows whose petal width is greater than 1.5 and petal length is less than 5. So here in the earlier case, it is only the number of rows that we need to call. Here we need to extract. So for that, I have to subset df of 
and then there are two conditions here petal length and petal width so let me open two brackets the first is petal width greater than 1.5 and next is petal length less than 5 so this way i'll extract all rows here i'm extracting all rows and next is which species has the highest sepal length which species has the highest sepal length so for that i'll say earlier we found out mean right we found out mean and we found out number of rows this time instead of mean i have to find out max the maximum i'll get it using max so this is a max value so i'll say i want to say how many which species has the highest sepal length so how do i do it df of and then there is one more condition df of sepal length equals to equals to either i can say 7.9 or i can store it in a variable and we can use it or i can directly do max as well so let me do max here because we have already done uh, we have already seen how to store value and use it so here so this will give all the columns this will give all the columns but i want to extract only the species so i'll subset species here again this will do the species name. So here, this is how I'll do it. If I want only species name, I can do something called list this and zero. This will give the species name alone. And lastly, extract the mean and medium of all the four columns for all the species individually. So the simplest way to do it is using group by. I want to group by using species because for all the species we want this so let me say species and then what do i want mean and median so i'll say agg of mean comma median so this will give us for each species what is the mean and median 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 for sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width mean and median for each column so this is how we'll do it guys the simplest way to do it you think is using by group by function. So these questions, I have took an example of Irish data set, but again, the interviewers may take a different data set, like, you know, a GDP data set of all the countries. And they then they might ask, you know, which probably which country has the highest GDP. So that is which species has the highest sepalent, a similar question. Or extract all the countries whose GDP is greater than certain value, greater than seven, greater than eight, etc. Or they, they might probably say, okay, extract the GDP of India. So all, almost all the similar questions, like you know, and then they can all uh, they can almost say like um, how many countries GDP is greater than uh, the uh, GDP value of the median median of all the countries. So all these similar questions can also be asked. So once if you understand uh, like you know how to do all these questions, the six questions on Irish data set. You can answer any questions, any similar kind of questions that can be that are asked on the, any data set. So thank you guys. We'll see you again in our next video.